Ito. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome back to my beautiful space. Right here, we are in the street of Nairobi. And I'm here to show you how the streets of Nairobi looks like on Sunday. Remember, Nairobi is a paradise of content creators on Sunday. So if you're a content creator and you've been wishing to come and visit Nairobi, come on to Nairobi on Sunday and, and get to enjoy the freedom that comes with content creation in the Republic of Kenya. Right here, uh, we are just standing uh, along City Hall, City Hall way, and behind me you can be able to see that is a Kenya International Conference Center, and also you can be able to see we have uh, the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the big, uh, the highest court in the Republic of Kenya. So if you have a dispute and you feel uh, your case was not judged correctly, you can appeal at the Supreme Court of Kenya and the judgment that comes out, that's the final, unless you want to go to the East African Court of Justice. So we want to walk down in the street of Nairobi and show you how it looks like. Vamos, my good people. Uh, shut up. So let's go. Have a jeep. In that case, my people, if you didn't know what's the meaning of the word Nairobi, Nairobi comes from the phrase Enkereo Nyorobi, a Maasai place that means a place of cool waters. And when it was becoming uh, the capital city of Kenya, when Kenya uh, was under Imperial British East African Company, in that is 18. 85 to 1964 when kenya gained independence kenya became the uh the where we are standing this is nairobi became the capital the official capital city of kenya and people say is the capital of africa. africa and remember kenya is the gateway to africa so one thing that you should know about kenya nairobi nairobi has been voted the best city to visit in 2024 pack your bags come to nairobi get to experience what we experience here. Is it surprising that uh, the United Nations want to bring half of its office to this city? Is it ironical? Do, what do you think? Is it good? Is it nice? What 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 is it that uh, the United Nations want with Kenya or maybe in Nairobi? Is it the good vibe that comes with it? Is it the people? Is it the vibrance? Is it the development that are happening? If you know what happens, please comment down below and tell me what you think. So again, is that uh, on Sunday, since it's a very free day for everyone to come and shoot, we want to show you some other activities that happen. We can go like to the Maasai market uh, or city market, whatever you may call it, because both of them are still in the city of Nairobi. We're going to get maybe some souvenirs. You can get yourself, uh, your mama, your girlfriend, your baby daddy, your baby mama, something to make them feel good. So we're going to go there, uh, get to see some of the things that are being sold here, and then continue with this journey of exploring the streets of Nairobi. So right here we are in City Hall, and uh, on the other side, that's where you can be able to find the office of the governor. You can be able to find on the other side that the Senate or the Bunge House. And uh, primarily this is a government uh, lane. You can find a lot of government uh, officers and government uh, offices and so and so. So, uh, vamos my people, well, let's go to the Maasai market and see what the Maasai market entails. Ooh. Hey, you have a jeep. In that case, my people, if you didn't know 
what's the meaning of the word Nairobi? Nairobi comes from the phrase Enkereo Nyorobi, a Maasai place that means a place of cool waters. And uh, when it was becoming uh, the capital city of Kenya, when Kenya uh, was under Imperial British East African Company, in that is 18. 85 to 1964 when Kenya gained independence Kenya became the, uh, the where we are standing this is Nairobi it became the capital the official capital city of Kenya and people say it's the capital of Africa. Africa and remember Kenya is the gateway to Africa so one thing that you should know about Kenya Nairobi Nairobi has been voted the best city to visit in 2024 pack your bags come to nairobi get to experience what we experience here. Is it surprising that uh, the United Nations want to bring half of its office to this city? Is it ironical? Do, what do you think? Is it good? Is it nice? What 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 is it that uh, the United Nations want with Kenya or maybe in Nairobi? Is it the good vibe that comes with it? Is it the people? Is it the vibrance? Is it the development that are happening? If you know what happens, please comment down below and tell me what you think. So again, is that uh, on Sunday, since it's a very free day for everyone to come and shoot, we want to show you some other activities that happen. We can go like to the Maasai market uh, or city market, whatever you may call it, because both of them are still in the city of Nairobi. We're going to get maybe some souvenirs. You can get yourself, uh, your mama, your girlfriend, your baby daddy, your baby mama, something to make them feel good so we're gonna go there uh, get to see some of the things that are being sold here and then continue with this journey of exploring the streets of Nairobi so right here we are in city hall and uh, on the other side that's where you can be able to find the office of the governor you can be able to find on the other side that the senate or the bunge house and uh, primarily this is a government uh, lane you can find a lot of government uh, officers and government uh, offices and so and so so uh, vamos my people well, let's go to the maasai market and see what the maasai market entails Ooh. so guys as you can be able to see as i told you nairobi is a paradise of content creators and uh you can be able to tell we got uh, photographers who are doing their thing they are people around in the street of Nairobi we are taking pictures and stuff so we want to close over to the other side and uh, I'm gonna show you what uh, it really looks like and uh, so this is a city hall walk that uh, joins uh, archives and joins Uhuru highway and these are the buildings you'll be able to see so we want to be going in here so that you can be able to see the city market uh, and some of the things that are being sold here. No, 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 I mean the Maasai market. So let's go into the Maasai market. So guys, we are right in the Maasai market. And uh, as you can be able to tell, there are some uh, carvings. The market. Hi. Uh, African map, so big carved some ornaments, some kitchen catralis, bangos, hakuna matata. It's nice. So this is basically the Maasai market. This is whereby you can be able to get like uh, carvings, uh, so many stuffs. So I brought one of my friends to come and buy some handmade uh, shoes. Shona be getting some shoes here. 
introduce yourself mm -hmm. you're coming here to get some shoes do you wanna like put them on your feet so that people can be able to see how nice they look and here we have who do we have here hi guys welcome back to our channel Hi guys, I think it's been a long time to see on this channel. Welcome back to Sam. This is channel. Uh, we are here at the Masai Market. We have been shooting a Sunday video in CBD. We have literally been sharing it around CBD on a Sunday because most of you know about the local world with this way. It's very hectic. But now we are here to show you and we are here to pick some stuff from this guy who makes really amazing games. Hi, I guess you <laughs> Mr. Oka, introduce yourself. I'm just uh -huh. My job is there. Uh, let, let, uh, introduce yourself, what you do, where people can find you. Oh, yeah. I'm Mumbai, though. I have a shop in the city market. Okay. But there, I know I'll be only two days. Uh -huh. Two days from Monday to Tuesday. Uh -huh. Wednesday. Outside market. Outside market. Yeah, so, junction, so what? Village. What do you really deal with? Or maybe we can, uh -huh, we can, we can, we can go and see as you explain to us. But you remember, Mr. Yes. From yeah. that time. yeah, I remember. I think last year, around mid last year. It's been a minute. Mm. So, guys, we wanna go and see what Mr. Yoka does. Yeah. So Musioka has a Musioka has a so this is Musioka spray. So we wanna go. Yeah. So guys, look at this. I guess this depicts the African woman and how she does her day-to-day -day things. So Musioka. Oh. So if you are a lady and you really need to have to be pampered to have like vintage look of things like ornaments, necklaces, beadwork, you can come and look for just what Musioka at Masai Market. He's always here on Sunday, so Sundays and Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, would you mind telling people what you make these uh, ornaments from? Or what is, What are the materials that make these? Uh, the materials mm. brass, brass, natural brass. Mm -hmm. I design. Then we mix up some ambers. Mm -hmm. Some of them we mix with the stones. Some of them I mix with the bronze. Like this one is bronze. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bronze. Yeah. And then some of them I mix with the, some bones. Like this one, these oh, are bones. bones. Yeah, these are cow horns. Sorry, cow horns. Bones are these ones. Okay. White color. But I do decorate them. One that, like this one is a cow horn. Mm -hmm. You see? I decorate with. Scarlet. You decorate with the. Uh, so you buy paint to decorate them. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So to guys. Look more to look more African design. So guys, if you happen to be in Maasai market on saturday or sunday yes. this is your plug if you want to get like very nice necklaces, ornaments necklaces bangles, bangles rings, uh, rings, some earrings, some earrings. Yes. He go. the ear cups oh my ear cups ear cup now what does it help with okay these are african designs mm -hmm. Mm, it resembles African culture. Africanacity. Yeah, Africanacity. All right. Okay. Yes. But will people not speculate? Like maybe you are having some voodoo or uh, whatever, <laughs> especially <laughs> when you are wearing those. Uh, tell him to wear like that, Nene. Yeah. No, no. I mean like the, the ear, ear cups. This is what you want. Yeah. These are ear cups. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, guys, look. Okay, Whew. The goddess of the sun, huh? the goddess of the sun. So let's, uh, one of our friends is being Malika. Okay. What do you think, guys? You look like uh, Queen. Queen of Africa. No, 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 Queen. Uh, there is this, there is this woman who was a very fierce woman. Uh, yes. In uh, is it Namibia, Queen Jinga? She was, yeah, she was feared. She was fearless, you know. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about black? I think I prefer black. Do you like black? So guys, these ones look like Maasai stuff, and then maybe they have something like I don't know. I don't know. Look at this. This one, the, maybe someone who is working in the field and getting, maybe this one looks like someone who is picking some uh, tea, maybe somewhere in Kiricho. And oh, this is like an umbrella. Oh, wow. These one, hey, these people are very creative. So Mosyoka is doing her thing, selling some uh, ornaments to these beautiful African queens. And then now we proceed with the journey to we explore the Maasai market and then now we head out and see what uh, other what the city of Nairobi entails on Sunday. So it makes sense to come up with the Maasai market. Yeah. Where are you? So guys are you a fan of wooden culture or kitchen wares? Man, look at this. From serving spoons or cooking spoons with a love kind of a handle. And uh, <laughs> this is so beautiful, man. Look at, there are some balls, there are some wooden big forks. These ones are mostly for travelers. If you're traveling and you maybe you're camping and you don't have like a spoon or cooking something, you can use this one for when you're doing uh, your bush camping uh, stuff. So these ones are reliable because it's wood, it cannot break or it cannot rust. So wow, these ones are like for maybe measuring spices or salt or sugar or anything like that. Look at this fork. Look at this. These are spice. This is a spice rack, right? Yeah. These are spice rack. Wow. Yeah. Mortar and pasta. Look at this. This is so um, this is so nice. Do you do it yourself? Uh, I do finishing. You do the finishing. Yeah. So there's someone. Someone else does the carving, and now you do the finishing. Yeah. On the field. Oh, this is nice. And then, like after doing the finishing. What do you do? You apply so that it can maintain that shiny uh, appearance. Only cooking oil. Cooking oil. Cooking oil. That is oh, nice. because, yeah, cooking oil because it's. I, did, it's, I wouldn't even like cooking oil. This is so nice. Cooking oil just because it's something that you can put food on, so you cannot yeah. put something else. Maybe like, like uh, paint. paint. Yeah. Oh no, varnish. No varnish. Ooh, look at this. They are so big, like you can be able to put if you have a family and stuff, you can be able to put with them. So, look at this. There is a cup here, there is a very big cup there. So, Malika, remember when we'll be going for campings, we come and get our bowls and whatever and whatever and cups and stuff, so we'll not be having like uh. Difficulties yeah. when you can just wash and put in our bags and Yeah, just by the by the riverside and then Ooh, we need to do that in, in a nook. So I guess we have a plug. So you, you can also introduce yourself so that people can know what is name, what you do, where you're located. Yeah, I'm Osmas. Osmas. Yeah, I work here with wooden bowls, mm -hmm. salad, stones, mm -hmm. yeah, 
village market so guys i guess uh, now if you are in those uh, areas or premises you know where to get your nice amazing wooden bowels spice lugs uh forks oh these are shakers this is made from bone camel bone these are salt, salt shaker yeah yeah mm -hmm. That's yeah. where you put your salt through. Yeah. Uh huh. And you have an opener. Okay. So if you have a bar and you are, you have been losing your openers, yeah. you can be able to use this one. Yeah. So if you have a bar and uh, you are bartenders keep on losing their openers, uh, that one is not you hang. That's that's nice. That is so far away from me. Like... <laughs> Yeah. We have been here in the Maasai market. <laughs> We've been here in the this is Maasai Maasai market. Maasai market. And uh, would you recommend people to come to the Maasai market? Of course, I would. First of all, look at what she has on her ears. This is crazy. Let's go to this side so because of the direction of the sun. What do you have to say? I don't know. Ask your people to say what they think about my my new acquired game i think like it's nice mm -hmm. it's a, it expresses a lot of um i don't know but it's african yeah something and... african cultural i don't know how to say it but you guys i love it honestly yep so you know where to get the plug yeah be in the Masai market and uh you're gonna get the best amazing handcrafted ornament and uh whatever what else bows uh, carrier bags, chondos, paintings, and all sorts of things. Uh, catapults. Catapults. In Aichonga, yeah, catapults for chasing um, away. Maybe you have a field. How do we call these things in local language? Fair. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the city market for you guys. It's been a nice walk through the city market to get to learn and also to experience like what people are doing here. Uh, to elevate their lives you know this is a business and also is an art and uh, also an expression of art yeah we move and on and we support local you know th this is really nice I yeah mean, local endeavors and we have someone market. else here who is just a quiet <laughs> behind the scenes behind, behind the, the scenes scene, guys <laughs> yep. so guys we're off the maasai market and uh we're just walking or strolling around the streets of nairobi so this is Maasai Market, the highest fence. And uh, I want to walk down this way. We want to go maybe almost to downtown and see what downtown has or how it looks like. But basically, guys, if you can be able to see how Nairobi looks like for you on Sunday, I guess it's the best day for you to come and vlog and do something. So this is a, that is a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, that is a Hilton Hotel. I guess it's closed. It's no longer functional, but I don't know what they're turning it to. Or maybe offices or whatever the government is going to do with it. That is an, the international house. You can be able to tell. And, uh, that building maybe IG's office. And this is Taifa Road. That links all the way down to... I guess that is Mamangena Street. Now going to the KICC on the back side of it. So this is Nairobi for you guys. Huh? It's almost maybe 5 in the evening. And this is how the Nairobi looks like. People are still in the street of Nairobi. People are still shooting videos. People are still shooting photos and stuff. <laughs> 